guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be another college video I've done a lot of these uh, a lot of blah, can't talk I've done a lot of college videos on my channel and they are one of my most popular video series that I've done and people have come up to me and have said like oh like your video helped me pick this school and I was like that's amazing so I just wanted to continue doing them if people continue to like them I've done um, a video sort of like this like what is it like going to an art school slash what is it like going to living in a city but this is specifically more for Columbia and hopefully that a lot of people who are thinking or planning on going here um, or are going here get some inspiration and kind of make final decisions so in this video I'm talking about the people the classes and also just some negativities just there's gonna be problems all schools have problems but I just want to address them in this video because I don't want to tell people you know oh my god this school is so good which it is but um, I just want to say that so so there's gonna be people from all over and everyone from all over the world comes to Chicago and to Columbia. So you're going to meet a lot of new, different people. They're going to be very creative and fun. And pretty much our school is a liberal arts school, so there's always going to be um, different people. If you applied to Columbia and asked for your pronoun, which there was a huge list. So we are, we are, Columbia is very, um open and uh about everything so you, you can be anyone you want pretty much um, i'm going to talk about the fashion aspect of people in this so i'm a fashion business major so if you're going to be into fashion you may kind of need to know this there is a small handful of nice people in this major and i don't know if it's just fashion just because people in fashion are just mean um but a lot of the people that i've met in my fashion major which I'm not like calling out everyone they just haven't been really nice Columbia is very liberal but it's not extremely well it is extremely liberal but there is gonna be people from every type of religion and every type of background and every type of political view even though you're gonna go here and maybe meet one person with a different view than you um, there are people that go here that have different views um, so just to look out if you're planning on coming to the school because of its political views yes it has like a big stance and being liberal but there are gonna be people who are different um, with different views yeah so I said this in my like what is it like living in a city thing Columbia is in the Chicago, yeah, it's in Chicago, the South Loop, right downtown. You're close to almost every major tourist attraction. Um, you're literally five minutes from all the L trains to take you everywhere. So it's it's a nice area to travel. Um, it is a little shady um, at times. There's lots of crime advisories that you'll get emails, just people being mugged and stuff like that which I don't think you should be scared at all it's a city obviously and it is um going to have its problems just always go outside with friends at night the dorms and buildings are pretty close by to each other it's not like you're gonna have to walk forever but you are gonna have to walk we don't have like buses that take you to classes I mean they're not extremely far from each other you can take the bus the public transportation to get to classes um, for classes um I think going to college has given me the best grades I've had ever and I don't know if it's just because I really didn't care in high school or it's just because the learning was completely different and it was not the way that I like to learn the um, Columbia is really big on visuals and projects and and that's like one of the reasons why I wanted to go here is because I am not a good test taker um and I feel like that it's not a way to teach kids I think there should be like a definite like even amount of visual teaching and learning 
and memorization and stuff like that. That's just my view. There is going to be tests and stuff, um, but for the most part, it's projects. And they're pretty easy medium. There's going to be some harder classes that you might take um, for business, accounting, and finance really hard. Um, but most of the time they're semi easy. Uh, um, you're paying a lot of money to go to this school. Why not, you know, make the most of it? The last thing for classes and sort of things is you got to do more outside of school. Obviously, that's going to be the same for every college and stuff. Like you got to do more out. But being create like in this creative field and that it is harder to find jobs, you need to push yourself out there a lot more than being like an accountant for like a university. Yeah. All right. Now this is where the shady stuff goes on. This not super shady because our school is very transparent, but all schools have problems and I think that I should address them before anyone really thinks about going here, okay? Um, not So like I said before, our school is not bad. It's a very nice school. It's like seventh in the liberal arts schools. It's great for film and stuff, um, but there's just some things that are going on. Um, You'll read about them in newspapers and stuff um, through the school, but there was a really mm, school-wide um, strike for teachers because the president of our college uh, starting to fire them and didn't think that they were qualified to work and, and all the other things where they're taking away um, clubs and making them just one giant club or I think they're association I don't know what they are centers they're like student centers so like for different races and and um all of that other thing is that they'll sometimes change names of classes on you and not tell you it happened to me um last year there was a class that I was required to take and when I went to go get that class it didn't exist and I was like what happened and I emailed my advisor and she said oh the name changed and I was like when did this happen she was like oh like a month ago and I was like why didn't I get this notification I'm not the only one who had this happen <laughs> okay um other things they might like I haven't had this happen to me but they might tell you you need like three other classes that weren't on your required list that you need to take um but I haven't had that happen so I don't know um so that's pretty much it if you guys enjoyed this video um if you have any more questions or anything like that leave them down below um so I can just answer them I might actually answer them in a video because I think that would be a good video um, so yeah, if you have any questions or anything about school, I might just do a whole video, but like leave them down below. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Yeah,